up there guys, and welcome back to Human Resource Machine, the hardest balls coding simulator thing. Um, did we get stuck down here on small device? Oh no, yeah, it's because we did the cutscene, we haven't done a story so far. Okay, I guess we're heading into another look at small divide in that case, uh, and see just how hard this fucking shit is. Remember last time when I told you we didn't need to divide? <laughs> yes. Well now you get to. <laughs> no. Uh, this might be a good time to practice copying and pasting from a previous assignment. Oh. Oh. If you see things in the inbox, how many times does the second fully fit into the first? Don't worry about negative numbers divided by zero or remainders. Don't worry about divide by zero. What do we do if it's divide by zero? What is the answer? What what do we outbox? Oh my god, that's that's no plus. What do we do? Uh, okay, do we want to go copy our code from the previous division thing? It was the one with the remainder, wasn't it? What was the one with the remainder? Was it cumulative countdown? I don't think it was. No, no, it wasn't that. Mod module? Which one was it that we did the divisions on? This was it, wasn't it? Outbox the remainder. Oh, Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Okay, so what did this do? This outboxed the remainder, didn't it? So, let's try and refresh our memory of what this did and see if we can use it in some way. So this copied the inbox to box 1, the inbox to box 2, copied the 0, subbed it from there. So yeah, that's pretty much what we want to do, but we want to divide... So we just need a bump box for every time we subtract to keep track of it. Oh, that's clever. That is fucking clever. Uh, how many times the second fully fit into the first? Let me just watch this play out. Just make sure this is the right way around. So this is subtract three from seven. And give us four. Okay. I don't believe copying all this is is, is helpful. Let's um let's start fresh. So the first thing we do is pick up inbox and copy to box zero. Pick up inbox, copy to oops. Copy to box one. Right. That's the start process. And then we need to We need to bump this, but then how do we set this back to zero? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, we could totally do that. Genius! Oh, wow, okay, fine. I've got an idea. Um, we can just put, like, a little jump loop on the bottom that just bumps it back down to zero. Fucking cool. Right, so... We put these down here. Now, do we want the bump first or second? Let's see. We're going to end up doing a... Uh, if... If zero or negative, outbox this. So we're going to want to bump first. So then we bump this. Uh, we copy from zero, sub one, and if the answer is not zero or negative, then we want to do this again. If the answer is zero or is negative, then we want to jump that jump. Copy from that and outbox it. Then we need to reset this back to zero. So then we bump that down. 
repeatedly. Until it's zero. That looks pretty self contained, is that it? I'm not sure, to be honest. That seems way easier than it probably is. Ah, okay. I see. That's an issue. So we still do need to do what we did before. Which is to take the number we've got. Copy from zero, sub from one. And then copy to zero. That's now negative. Okay, why is that wrong then? Why is that wrong? 8 minus 3. So, this is one division. 8 minus 3. It's not 0. So, boom. Second division. Because we need to account for the remainder. So if zero it's fine, but if negative uh, if negative we need two if negative, uh, we need to bump down that and then copy from that and out box. In fact, I don't even need to copy from do it because bumping down will give me the number that's in the box. <sighs> right. That should work. Surely this will work. <laughs> I wonder how practical, like, any of this shit is. It's like, if you tried to code actual code in this sort of style, you would not get anywhere very fast, would you? It's so inefficient. So this is going to give us a perfect zero. And there's my zero reset. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that is really nice. I like that a lot. The problem is what we're going to do with the fucking zeros. Because zero divided by seven. What is zero divided by seven? Surely it's zero. But how do we... I guess if anything, if there's any zeros, we just outbox zero. we could do that. I just guess we could just... Hang on, let me speed him up a little bit. Let's get to it and see what happens. Oh! Oh shit! We've hit a little bit of a problem. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Jump if zero. Copy from nine. Outbox. Jump. So we don't need to reset in that case. Uh, just goes back to the start. Uh, and then we're going to need some zero shit. So anything... Div zero divided by anything is zero, isn't it? So, if the first number is zero... If the first number is zero... Then we... We outbox it, but we also need to pull that first number out and just dump it. If the first number is zero, outbox it. Inbox. And then just go back to the start and start again. If the second number is zero... It says don't worry about dividing by zero. It didn't say what to uh, what to have. I mean, I guess <sighs> surely di dividing by zero is going to produce a zero output for the purposes of this thing. I mean, obviously the correct well, <laughs> let's not get into this debate. The most sensible option to someone like me is that the result is infinity. Now, obviously, it isn't infinity, but it's a very sensible solution. But we can't outbox infinity anyway, so... Um, I prefer the idea of just outboxing a zero. So, again, if the second number is zero, then we just outbox it and go back to the start. How's that? Oh, my God, complicated shit. Right, this should be 100% foolproof now. Can we can we get hell yeah? So six divided by four is one. Okay. So we're looking for a one. In fact, we're looking for a one, a one. That's bigger, so that's a zero. Oh yeah, that's gonna be annoying. And that should be a zero as well. So it's gonna be one one zero zero. But I want to watch that second one. Because that's going to be a strange one. Because the second number's larger. I mean, that's just, it's going to give us negative straight away. So we should output the zero just fine. I mean, because we bump up, get a negative result, bump down. It's fine. It's fine. You can handle that. Brilliant. But now he's in a loop again. Why is he in a loop again? What happened there? Because the jump is negative. Shouldn't have a zero there. Bump nine, outbox. And then... Hmm... So if zero, all I need is a clause there that's if zero, do, where was my safe outbox and jump, there we go, outbox and jump. <laughs> it's getting messy, it's getting really fucking messy isn't it? Let's speed through the easy stuff. Oh my god. Okay. And zero divided by nine. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, give me some fail things. What's the fail inputs? Two, three, four, four, is it? Is it the zero? Zero divided by seven. What's it gonna fail on here? Nine divided by two. Why did it not reset this? What happened there? What happened there? 
A reset loop isn't working. There. Why did he not do that? What happened? What happened there? Why is he not bumping it down? <sighs> I can't tell what's going on anymore. This has gotten so ridiculously convoluted. Copy from sub, copy two. Once this hits negative, if it is zero, copy from nine. We outbox and jump. Why is that? That's not right, is it? Why is this jump here? Is that in the wrong place? Was it just that one command that was in the wrong place? No. Oh, I've completely fucked it. What? What? <sighs> it was working so well. Right. If we have a negative, we jump down to here. We bump nine down. Which is completely wrong. No, it's not. We bump now and down and outbox it. If it's zero, we just outbox it. Let's put that jump back in. Just in case. But this needs something here. Because that was preventing us doing the bumps. I feel like all that is wrong. Oh, God, it's going to be so hard to fix this now. We're going to have to start again. I'm going to have to start again because I can't even fucking work out what I'm doing anymore from this. It's just so messy. Oh, right, okay. So, let's try again. Bloody hell, this level is so hard. So, what have we got to start with? We copy both numbers down, we bump up, copy from zero, sub from that, copy to zero. <sighs> if we sub from one, and the number is zero, then we can just outbox a zero. No, we can't. If the number is zero, we, we copy from nine and outbox it. We copy from nine. Outbox that number. And then we bump. We bump that back down to zero. However, if this was already zero, then what we really want to do is just outbox and restart.
like that. Is that good? Right. So that's that bit. <sighs> right. Oh, God. I'm trying to fucking wrap my head around this. So, if the number's zero when we sub it, we've got our answer, we go for it. If it isn't zero, then we copy it, jump back to the bumping stage. If the number is negative, then instead of copying from 9, we first need to bump from 9. Uh, so... So normally we would copy from 9 but in this case we need to bump it first. So if I put a, a bump down on 9 that already copies from 9 so we can outbox that And carry on as normal. What am I looking at here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Jump if negative. Bump nine. Outbox nine. And then reset our thing, which would be bump nine. So unless that's zero, in which case... Jump of zero to that one. Then all we got to worry about is our actual divisions by zero again. So, oh my god, my fucking brain hurts so much. Oh, this is torturous. Oh my god, I need some chocolate. <laughs> right, if the first number is a zero, then we can just outbox that shit. However, we have to do a whole new loop for it. So if it's a zero, we can outbox it, grab something from the inbox, and then just jump right back to the start. Boom. If the second number is a zero, we can outbox that shit and jump back to the start. Is that it? Have I cleaned up my code? Can we copy that shit just to make sure? Oh, will this work this time? Just fucking speed it up. I don't care anymore. Just tell me it works. This is the big one. Oh, that appears to have worked. Does it work for all inputs? It works! Yes! Oh my god. Oh, it's so big. It's so slow. It's so horrible. <laughs> 27 commands. You can do it in 15, apparently. Fuck me. Oh my god, that hurt my brain so much. Why are we still playing this game? It's so hard. It's not quite as hard as Space Chem, but oh my god, it's hard. Oh, thank god we did it. I, I, this already sounds so ominous. I mean, we took a whole episode just doing one fucking level there. And next, it's called Free Sort, which sounds... Oh my god, it sounds really bad. It sounds like we're going to be taking three numbers and finding the lowest. <laughs> I don't know how to do that.
<laughs> Shit! I need to go brush up on sorting methods. I need to go watch some computer file vids and figure out how to do fucking sorting. Oh my god. Right, anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thank you for struggling through this once again with me. It's only going to get harder from here, but for now, I'm going to save it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.